Our next topic is going to be split and concatenation in the data cleaning series using Excel. Splitting divides the data into separate columns. There are three ways of splitting the data. The first way is text to column, second is text function, and the third way is flash fill. Let's have a look at the data and see how splitting works. See, I have a data where I have order ID, product ID, and quantity. And I want to split the product ID using text to column. I'll go to the data tab, click on text to column, and see there are two options delimited and fixed width. I want to choose delimited. I'll click on next. I'll go to select the separator. The separator is other because it's not mentioned over here. My separator is a hyphen. I'll click on next. And my destination say I want my data at F2. And when I fix it, I'll click on finish. As soon as I finish doing that, I see my data has been split into these three columns. And that's how text to column works. Our next way of splitting the data was text functions. So I'm going to work over here only. And to split the data into two parts, I'll use the text function left and right. So for extracting the left part, that is the text part from this data, on this part, I'll use the left function for extracting the right part, that is the numbers, I'll use the right function. So I'll use is equal to left and I want to find a left of this text. So I'll find the first hyphen and in that I'm going to find the second one as well. And I'll copy the same, control C, find the second one. And I'll add one to it. And I see I found the text portion. I'm going to autofill. So this is how, how I found the first split. This is the split one. Finding the second split. I'm going to use the right function. So it is right of product ID and I'm going to subtract the length of the whole text with the hyphen. Find hyphen B2 start number is going to be 1 plus 1 And I forgot to use the second find as well. So I'm going to use the second find. There are going to be basically two finds for this. And because I want to use the second hyphen. I close. And that's how we can see I found the second part as well. So this is how we can use text function left and right to find both the point ends of a data. The third way was flash fill. So let me insert one more column over here and see. Say I have filled my data into two parts. First part has been the TEC PH I have manually entered. Second part also I have manually entered. And when I click on the cell and press Ctrl E, I see the first part is auto-filled. This is called flash fill. I click on the next cell which has numbers and press on Ctrl E and see this is also auto-filled. So this is how we can split the data into three types. Now let's go back and see what concatenation is. The concatenate function is used to join text from different cells into a single cell. 
the ampersand operator works the same as the concatenate function. So there are two ways of concatenation. First being concatenate function. In some Excel versions, we have concat function as well. It is absolutely the same as concatenate function. And the second is using the ampersand operator. We'll work on both and see how we can concatenate using both the functions. So say this is our split splitted data and I want to concatenate this. So using the concatenate function, we'll use over here. And let me insert a new column. And I'll write equal to concatenate. And I see the formula appears over here. This is my first text. And since there is no uh, separator that we want, we want the original one. So we are not using any separator. I choose the second one as well. And we see I got my original ID back. Autofill. And this is how it works. Now, same can be done using ampersand. So I'll write equal to the first part and the ampersand and the second part. I found the same. So these are the two ways of concatenation. Hope this video was helpful to you. Keep tuned to Ivy's YouTube channel for more such videos on data science. Thank you.